Hello everyone, this is Anirudh Walia and this is going to be the last lecture of the unit, unit 1 that is solid state. In this video, we are going to study the two important properties. The first one is magnetic properties and second one is dielectric properties. This is going to be the last lecture and very short lecture around, around 7 to 8 minutes. So briefly we will cover entire unit. So the first most important information for you is if you want to revise or if you want to learn all important naming reactions of organic chemistry of class 11th as well as class 12th so you have to check the description box of this particular video once you check the description box in which I have added the link for important naming reactions of organic chemistry so you can revise you can learn in a funny way of entire organic chemistries naming reactions so I'll start with this basic introduction as I have lots of videos created on the platform of Unacademy so you can watch my videos over there also on 1st of July I'm going to start chemical bonding over there so you can revise the chapter you can learn the chemical bonding chapter on that platform of Unacademy so till now I have created lots of videos around around 320 plus videos so you can get the benefit of those videos that I have uploaded over there so I hope you will watch my videos over there also it's a free platform so you can get the benefit of that particular platform link is given in the description box so we'll start with the very basic video very basic topic that is magnetic properties of solid in the last lecture that is lecture number 11 we have covered the electrical properties conductors insulators semiconductors and type p type now we are going to cover magnetic properties the first one is magnetic substances sorry diamagnetic substances which are weakly repelled by magnetic field they are weakly repelled and do not have any unpaired electron diamagnetic species are those species which are weakly repelled and having no unpaired electron for few examples you have to remember TiO2, V2O5, C6H6, benzene, NaCl, sodium chloride etc. Now the second one is paramagnetic paramagnetic means there is a one or more unpaired electron so they are also attracted by magnetic field the two species those substances which are attracted by magnetic field and have unpaired electrons whether it may be one two three any number but it should be one or greater than more they have unpaired electrons so they lose magnetism in the absence of magnetic field uh, they have strong magnetic field but when it comes to once they remove the magnetism they lose their magnetic field so for examples O2 oxygen gas C2 plus, Fe3 plus, etc. They are the examples of paramagnetic species. In class 12 physics unit number 3 magnetism, magnetic effect and current. In that particular video we have also taught the same magnetic properties in detail. So you can also refer class 12 physics but no issue. From chemistry point of view we will cover each and every point which are important. So diamagnetic species are those species which have zero unpaired electrons paramagnetic species are those species which have at least one electron one unpaired electron the third one is ferromagnetic species these are attracted by the magnetic field and show and show permanent magnetism even in the absence of magnetic field this is not ill this is in the absence of magnetic field okay in the absence of magnetic field few examples these are the three examples that you have to remember iron cobalt and nickel are the ferromagnetic substances okay in competition they may directly ask the example of ferromagnetic or paramagnetic diam diamagnetic paramagnetic is very very important so even in chemical bonding molecular orbital theory every year few questions came to the examinations the fourth one is anti ferromagnetic substance they have net magnetic moment zero magnetic moment zero due to compensatory alignment of the magnetic the net magnetic moment is zero like they have opposite spin that's why they have net magnetic moment zero at vector quantity so net magnetic moment zero example MnO, MnO2, ferric oxide, ferrous oxide, magnesium oxide okay so you have to remember all few properties of magnetic properties diamagnetic, paramagnetic, ferro, antiferro fifth one is ferrimagnetic this is again a type of magnetic properties these substances have a net dipole moment due to unequal parallel and anti-parallel alignment of magnetic moments they have dipole moment due to unequal parallel and anti-parallel means they may have 
unequal parallel but they have anti parallel alignment of magnetic moments example fe3 or 4 ferrites etc dielectric properties in which two uh, two uh, substances are come piezoelectric and pyroelectric so piezoelectric basically piezo word uh, signifies that uh, pressure basically piezo word signifies that pressure so the electricity generated due to the pressure when magnetic when mechanical stress is applied on the crystals so as to deform them electricity is produced once the stress is applied once the force is applied due to the force due to the mechanical stress the crystals deform once they deform so electricity is produced due to displacement of ions due to displacement of ions the electricity thus produced is called piezoelectric the electricity produced is called piezoelectricity and the crystals are called piezoelectric crystals okay this is very very basic and very new concept in, even in india uh, the piezoelectric crystals the many scientists have generated electricity through the piezoelectric crystals as you i hope it's clear how the electricity generated through piezoelectric crystals crystals are layered into the floor when we apply stress due to the deformation in the crystal electricity is produced so we convert that mechanical force into the electricity by using some devices so that we can generate the electricity using piezoelectric crystals pyroelectric crystals pyroelectricity pyro means heat the word pyro means heat so some piezoelectric crystals when heated a small electric current when we heat the piezo that pyro this these are the and by uh, piezoelectric crystals when heated to produce small electric current the electricity that produced are called pyroelectricity okay when we heat some crystals we generate some electric current due to the heat the electricity produced are called pyroelectricity and the crystals are known as pyro crystals okay these are the very basic things very important properties magnetic properties as well as that dielectric properties i hope i have cleared all your doubts solid state chapter has been completed from my point of view from my side all the 12 lectures uploaded on my youtube channel anirudh walia youtube channel so you can watch the entire solid state and learn lots of things i have covered each and every concept in detail so that you need not to refer any book you have to just solve number of problems so that you can strengthen your concept so i hope solid state chapter you liked it now for more chapters subscribe to my channel for more videos you can also suggest the next chapter would be on your demand once you suggest the chapter i'll create the video on that particular chapter so i hope you like the entire video i hope you will enjoy from the past two years we are on the same field we are teaching to number of students on youtube they have selected in various examinations they have entered in various respect respected colleges so i hope now it's your chance to clear your je or neat examination so stay in touch god bless you all meet in the next chapter solid state completed okay friends bye bye